Assalamu alaikum again. This is Haifa and I'm a business student. My question is, is it permissible for a Muslim lady to make public talks for dawah if she wears hijab? If no, what are the other options? Thank you. Sister asked a question that is permissible for a Muslim woman to give dawah in public talks with wearing hijab. As far as giving public talks in front of ladies only, no problem. My wife, mashallah, she's a dai. She is giving lectures in hundreds and thousands of ladies in many parts of the world, in Saudi Arabia, she has given talks in Dubai, in USA, in Canada, in many countries. So if a lady gives a talk in public in where there is only ladies, no problem. As far as the lady giving public talk in mixed gathering, there is difference of opinion. Difference of opinion. Though there are some scholars who say that fine, a lady can come on the stage, like on this stage in a mixed gathering. But those scholars who are more close to the Quran and Sunnah, they say a lady cannot give talk in mixed gathering. And I agree with the second group of scholars. Why? Because the Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 30, say to the believing man that he should lower his gaze and guard his modesty. Whenever a man looks at a woman, any brazen thought comes in his mind, he should lower his gaze. So if a woman is giving a talk in public, and if the men are watching, they should lower the gaze. If someone tells me, I look at a woman and nothing happens to him, then he requires a psychiatrist. <laughs> if a man is giving a lecture, there are women looking at me. The next verse, the verse I quoted was Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse number 30. Said to the believing man, he should lower his gaze and guard his modesty. Next verse, Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse number 31 says, Say to the believing woman, that she should lower again and guard her modesty, same thing. But today scientific research tells me that when a man looks at a woman, his pupil dilates more as compared to a woman when she looks at a man. A man is sexually more aroused when he looks at a woman than a woman when he looks at a man. That is the reason today in schools which are single sex, the results are better. It is better for a man teaching mixed gathering it's preferable for a man teaching a woman, a man teacher teaching a woman audience than a woman teacher teaching men audience. Scientific research. In spite of that, if any woman looking at a die, including me, if some unashamed thought comes, even should lower your gaze. But a woman is less excited as compared to a man. That's the reason I agree with the second group of scholars who say for a woman to give lectures in mixed gatherings, it's not permissible. That's the reason on our Peach TV, when we show in three seconds. I mean, there's no mention in the Hadith and Quran, why three seconds, why not two, why not five? It is our ishtihad. Even though they're modestly dressed, maximum we show is for three seconds, so that it does not let the gents get excited. So, sister, I agree with the second group of scholars. How should they do dawah? It is not compulsory for a man or woman to come on the stage to dawah. Sister, you can do dawah on the internet, you can do email, you can do dawah writing books, no problem. While doing dawah, preferable man does to a man, woman to a woman, male to male, female to female. In some countries I go, a man, a Muslim die, talking to a non-Muslim girl in close doors, dawah. Her beloved Prophet Muhammad said, Na a man and a woman are alone in a closed room, the third person is the devil. Even I cannot do dawa to a woman one to one, no. We have our dawa center in IRF, Islamic Research Foundation. We have a gents wing doing one to one dawa to gents, ladies one to one ladies. If there is some great problem where a lady cannot be convinced, and if I have to speak to a lady, it is with my mehram. Either my wife is there with me, or my sister is with me, or that lady's husband is there, or brother is there. With lowering the gaze. This is Islam. So we should follow the rules and regulations. Do dawa, but within the purview of the Islamic Sharia. The women, we have got great scope. In Bombay, the women do one-to-one -one dawa more than the gents. In our Bombay branch, there are more ladies accepting Islam than the gents. So mashallah, in IRF, mashallah, there are so many sessions. They have marriage preparatory course, they have Ramadan month, they have the Quran family, so many sessions they have. One day workshop, three day workshop, one week workshop. They have lectures and hundreds and thousands of ladies attend. MashaAllah. But 
It should be female with female agent for agent. Hope that answers the question.